Hello, and thanks for watching. My name is Paul Cleary, Ecosystem Architect at Venify. In part one of this three-part series, we looked at some of the problems that application and security teams face when trying to deploy enterprise applications at scale. Things like certificate-based outages and the lack of scalability when working with manual processes. And then we saw how Venify and F5 can solve those problems together. Part two will be a demonstration of the process an F5 administrator would go through to deploy a brand new application using a new machine identity provided by Venify. Let's get started. So as you can see, I have logged into the Venify Trust Protection Platform interface as well as the Big IQ interface. And real quick, I just wanna give you an overview of what's been done so far. So I have a Big IQ policy folder underneath my main certificates folder. And underneath Big IQ, there are two subfolders, one for F5 created CSRs and one for Venify created CSRs. And really, if we take a look here, the only difference is going to be where that CSR and private key get generated. And so for F5, that is happening on Big IQ. You can see it's a user provided CSR by Big IQ. And then for Venify CSRs, Big IQ, what happens is it still creates the certificate signing request and the private key, and they live within Big IQ, but they're not used. It's when, when a service generated CSR is selected, Big IQ is actually going to send a request to Venify to create the private key and CSR on the platform. If we then take a look at the F5 configuration that we have set up so far, you can see that this Big IQ appliance is managing one Big IP server. And so really when we deploy applications, we're deploying the applications out to the Big IP servers. And Big IQ really is just doing the management of all of the deployments, the certificate creation, uh, profile creation, assigning those certificates and profiles to virtual servers, etc. So we've got our Big IP configured already. The next step is going to be configuring Big IQ to talk back to the Venify server in order to get those machine identities. So the first step is gonna be creating what's called a third party CA management server. So we're gonna to go to configuration, local traffic, certificate management, and then third party CA management and click create. You'll notice here that Venify is actually the only provider listed as a third-party CA manager. So I'll select Venify. I'm gonna call my instance TPP for Trust Protection Platform and then specify the SDK endpoint. Okay, and my credentials have already been, actually these are the wrong credentials, so I'll fill these in here. should test the connection. Everything should come back okay. All right, connection is tested successfully. I'm gonna save that configuration. And then the next thing that I need to do is set the policy, top parent policy folder. So if you remember, that's going to be this big IQ folder here. And then anything underneath that folder is gonna be visible to the F5 administrators when they need to create a new machine identity. And so to specify the policy folder path, it's just gonna be policy certificates big IQ and get. And you'll see those two folders pull in and we can save that configuration. At this point, we are ready to start configuring our application. For the purposes of this demo, I don't have an actual application in place, but the configuration steps are exactly the same. The only difference here is I'm going to specify dummy IP address for the destination address and the pool numbers. In a production deployment, F5 administrators would create a pool and specify the IP addresses or host names of the servers that are actually hosting the end application. When creating a new application on Big IQ, there are a few steps involved. At a high level, we're going to create a new machine identity for the application. We'll then create a new SSL profile and assign that machine identity. Next, we'll create a virtual server that will use our newly created SSL profile. And then finally, we need to deploy those changes down to the big IP device that will be hosting the new application. The first step is going to be creating the 
actual machine identity that this application will use. So for that, I'm gonna to go to certificate management, certificates and keys, and click the create button. I'm gonna specify all of the information for the certificate. And for this example, again, we're just gonna use app one, we'll use my domain, and we wanna make sure to select the issuer as our third party CA manager that we specified earlier. As you can see, you, you also have the option of using a self-signed certificate that BigIQ will create and sign. And you also have the option of creating a CSR that you can export and take to any third party CA. Okay, so I selected TPP and I select the policy folder, you'll see the two subfolders of my big IQ parent that I specified earlier. For this, I'm going to use a F5 generated CSR. And the common name is just going to match the actual name of the certificate. So I'm going to do my app1.venifydemo.com. And you can see it also has pulled in any of the preset policy values from the folder that we imported. And these can be changed by Venify administrators uh, at any point. And then it also asks you to specify the key type. And so if this is allowed to be changed on the policy folder, it will inherit these values set by the F5 admin. If not, it's just gonna give you a key value and size that are matching that policy folder that's been pre-configured by a Venify admin. And so for this example, I'm just gonna use RSA and a size 2048 key. I'm gonna type in a password that satisfies the requirements. And we'll click save. And so what this is going to do is create that private key in CSR. It will push the CSR to Venify. We'll, Venify will then take that CSR and fulfill the request at the configured certificate authority. And Big IQ is going to pull Venify to find out when that certificate is available and then bring it back into Big IQ. And so you can see that process has completed now. We have a managed certificate that is being managed by a third party. And now you can actually see an alert that I've got set up that says a new certificate has been created. The next thing that we need to do is create a new SSL profile that will use that machine identity that we just created. And so for this, I'm gonna to go to local traffic profiles and click create. And I'm just gonna call this Venify underscore SSL and we'll set it to be a client SSL profile. And it's just gonna inherit all of the settings from the default client SSL profile. And all of the default settings are actually okay. Really the only thing that I wanna change is what certificate keychain is specified in this profile. And so I'm gonna select this as a change that I'm going to make. And if I use the dropdown here, we'll see that my new app1.venifydemo.com cert and key are both available. And we want to specify the same password that we used to create this uh, key and cert. And we'll click save. Excellent. So if you see it, if I scroll down, you can see that I have created my Venify SSL profile. And the next step that I'm going to do is go to virtual servers and we're going to create a new virtual server for this application. And I'm just gonna call the application virtual server app one. I'm gonna select big IP as the device that this application is gonna be hosted from. Because remember, big IQ is only doing the management of the configuration, the certificates, uh, all of the admin tasks. Big IPs are actually going to be the, doing the hosting, the traffic management, the load balancing, and that sort of thing. The first thing we need to specify for this example is our destination address which is just a dummy IP address, because remember, I'm not actually hosting an application on Big IP for this example. I'll set the service port to HTTPS. Really, the only other thing that we have to set is our client SSL profile. And for that, we'll select the Venify SSL profile that we created earlier. 
And at that point, we can go ahead and click Save. At this point, we have a virtual server that has been created, but it hasn't yet been deployed to the big IP device that will host it. For that, we'll select the virtual server we just created and click Deploy. I'll give it a descriptive name, something like App1 Deploy. You can see that App1 is already selected as a source object, and the only thing left for me to do is specify the target device. So I'll click Find Relevant Devices, and I'm going to select my big IP device, move it over to the selected column, and then click Create to create this evaluation. What this does is present a list of differences to the administrator with all of the changes that are being made. So any final checks can be performed before the actual deployment takes place. So if I scroll down here and click View Differences, it's going to show exactly what's being updated on this big IP device. And so as you can see, everything is new. This is a net new application. So we are deploying a virtual server called App1. It's using the certificate and key that make up that machine identity. And it's also installing the client SSL profile, Venify SSL, that we specified earlier. Okay. So if we are satisfied with those changes, we can scroll to the bottom. You have the option to deploy now, or you can schedule it for a maintenance window in the future. I'm going to click Deploy Now and Deploy. Big I Q is going to go through and deploy that configuration to Big IP. Once this is done, that's really it. The application is up and running with a new machine identity created by an F5 administrator through the Venify Trust Protection Platform. In this video, we saw how Venify can be configured as a third-party CA manager for Big IQ and walked through the creation of a brand new machine identity that will be used to secure a new application. This integration is extremely helpful to F5 administrators because they are now able to create machine identities whenever they need using the tools that they're used to, all while still providing the security or PKI team the policy enforcement and visibility that Venify administrators require. I'd like to thank you for watching and be sure to stay tuned for the next video in this series on migrating an existing Big IP application to Big IQ management.